Okay, we're here at Patsy's Pizza in Harlem. We are with Dino. Russ is sitting next to me. Mm -hmm. And we are going to start our video with uh, removing the wrapper from a cardo. So Dino's going to show us how to do that. Go ahead, Dino. All right, listen. All you got to do right now is just try to get the edge of the cardo wrapper up. Nice and easy. Once it gets started, just slowly start peeling it down. Once you get it all the way across, start pulling it back. Stop a little bit, push it back on, peel it off again. It helps get the adhesive off. Come back a little bit more, push, push it back and forth, kind of using the tape to pull off whatever excess adhesive you have on there. Keep working it down. Now that's a Bogue uh, card you're using, A Bogue right? 2 ohm. Okay. Doesn't work very well on du dual coils, but the Bogue it seems to be working real fine. You can see I'm getting right near the end there. And just start peeling away nice and easy. And that's it. And it's done. And there is no residue on that whatsoever. Nice. Okay, now Dino is going to show you how to punch a regular cardo and a dual coil cardo. This is uh, two different jigs made from two different places. I guess we'll post the links on the video. For a dual coil, put the put the pin in the far end. Take the cardo, slide it in battery end. Put the Put the punch in. There's one hole. Flip it over. Slide it in. And there you go. You got two perfect holes. Now, the way to, to work a regular regular cardo in this jig, just move the pin into the higher hole, if I can get it in there, and then you just repeat it the same way. Put the cardo in, punch, flip it over, punch again. Now this is something new I found. I will put, we'll put the link up to this too. I actually pull this all, but this is an uh, adjustment for the length. What I do is I take the battery end in the, on a regular bogue, it stops, then what I do is I turn it until it hits. Then, take the, the Allen wrench, Just notice the position, you want to go two full turns. So you go one, two. That's it. If you go any further, you'll pierce the inner tube. And you can see, you have a nice yeah. hole there. Now what I do then is now is turn it around, opposite way, yep. drop it in. That's a nice punch. Screw it in until the, the pin hits the side. And again, just make sure you note where the, the handle is and go two full turns. And that's what you're left with. That's it. Now I actually prefer this one over this one, right? Because there's not much deformity in the cardo on this one. Now, if you get a little deformity in the cardo, what you can do is, and I suggest doing this: take, see what the way the hole is. Have the holes parallel with each other. Yep. Take your hammer. And just give a little tap there. Flip it over and give a little tap there. Just to kind of flatten out that bubble that gets in the car though. Because you want to try to keep that thing as smooth as possible. And that's it. That's it. Now Dino is going to show us how to properly fill a car though. Well, my method anyway. His method. Uh, 
You got there's a bogue to them. I take the long card condom. I take out the little plug. I don't use that. This card was punched already. You can see. I cover this. I cover this all the way till it covers the holes on the card. Up. So now it's not to worry about juice leaking out. What I do is I take the juice, fill it up till it won't take any more. Then I got my little contraption here to spin with. Put it in there. Give it a little spin. Now this, you can see the juice got forced down. I'm going to top it off again. Put it back in there. I'm going to spin again. Now you see it's 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 dry in there. So I'm going to keep filling it. And I'm going to keep spinning until no more juice gets forced down to the bottom of the card. See right now, there's no more juice going down? Right. You got a big puddle there. So what I'll do is now take off the, the, card, the condom, put my fingers on the holes, take a tissue, blow out the excess, that's a full card. Packed with juice, and that's what I want when I'm putting it in my tank. Perfect. Okay, now Dino is going to show us how to assemble and fill the tank. Okay, I like to use an Ego battery to hold the cardo in place. So I just screw that on there. Now, these drip tips, I buy these from RTD Vapor. These are small tapered drip tips. I think that these are really a, a tool you need to feed into the, uh, into the tank. Put the tip on there. Let me take the top off of this. Take the bottom off of the tank. Now first I put the cardo through the bottom cap. Now the reason for the tip, if you see there's an o-ring on the inside there. Yep. If you try to feed it in without the tip, it's gonna get it's gonna catch that o-ring. More than likely gonna damage it. Right. That's gonna cause a leak. So put the drip tip on. And it slides nice and smooth. Slides right on. Right on it, no problem at all. Slide this all the way down until it gets to the bottom. Now you can take this off. We don't need that anymore. Take the drip tip off. Take the tube. Pop it right on the bottom cap. Now you got to fill it. Take your juice. Let's see. Now I fill it pretty close to the top. Take your top cap. Slide it on just to the O-ring. And then stop. See the hole in the car though? Yep. Get the bubble over the hole. See how the bubble is on the hole now? Yep. Now slide the cap all the way on. You'll see the bubble disappear. Got it? Got it. So now what you have is full tank. No leak, no mess, no nothing. Now what I do also, I'll take a take a rag. You know, obviously wipe up the bottom, but I'll blow into the the tip just to get any excess juice out of the airway. I mean, not, not, not hardly anything came out. Wipe it down. That's it. It's done. Now this is ready to vape. Perfect. 
Okay, now we're going to learn how to fill the tank, do a refill. Well, you can see we got a l about half of a tank there. What, what I do is, on a, on a lava tank, very simple, just grab, grab the tube and wiggle the cap and it pops right off, nice and easy. Take your juice, fill up the tank, again, put the cap on, stop at the O-rings, and position the bubble over the hole, and then just push the cap right on, and that's it. That's it. Fill the tank. Okay, now Dino is going to show us how to make a fill port. Make a fill port, take your tube. What you want to do is take your cap from your tank, put it in, and get an idea of where you want the hole in, uh, to, for the fill. So I, this one I actually drilled because I didn't want to take a cordless drill into a restaurant. It's already done. And I use a number 23 drill bit to uh, drill that hole, which matches up with a 440 uh, set screw. And what I do is I take the set screw. You could use a 440 tap to make that, to thread that hole, but I just do it with the screw. And what you do is, you got, what you gotta do is try to keep the screw straight when it's going in. Put a little bit of force, get the threads just started. Now once it's in there, now you can see, you look at it this way, look at it this way, make sure that this screw is straight up and down so that when you're tr making the threads in the poly, they go nice and straight. And what you do is turn the screw a couple of times, then back it off a little bit. Then you turn it a little bit more, and then you back it off a little bit. And you keep doing this until the screw threads its way all the way through the poly. Back and forth, you want to make the threads nice. A little bit at a time. Don't try to force it, you'll crack the tube. Back it out a little bit. And send it back through again. And then you'll, you'll feel it once it gets all the way through. We're just about there now. Come back again. That's it. You can see it's through now. It's threaded, it's tight, and it should seal just fine. Now when you want to fill it up, once the caps are installed and, it's, and, and the juice starts to get low, all you need to do is take off this little screw, put it on the side, Take a bottle with juice and a needle, pop it off, it fits in there real nice. Never have to take the tank apart, that's it. Okay, now we're going to learn how to change the O-rings. Okay, assuming that these are bad O-rings, I'm going to pop the caps off the tank. I got my little high-tech tool here, a uh, corner on the cob holder. What I do is just poke it in, get it under there, pull the o-ring right off. Do that on the top and the bottom cap. And then you got the inside o-ring. I don't know if you could see it or not. What I do is I just stick it in there. Can you see that? Yep. And it comes, whoop. Pop that right out. All right, now, now we want to replace them. The outside O-rings are simple. Just put your thumb on it, pull it around, and that's it, simple as, as simple as can get. As far as the interior, it's a little more tricky. What I do is, you'll see that 
you'll see there's a groove right there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but that's where the O-ring is going to sit in. And what you do is you got to kind of mush this thing in there. Let me see if I could do this. Just try to get it in there. Now, you got I got a little, this is like a little skewer. And what you got to do is you got to try to work it in so it gets into that groove. It's a little tricky. I don't know if you can see here. It's hard for me to do and see it at the same time. But I'm kind of pushing it upward and slowly working that o-ring into place. Right, it's popping out. It's very tough to do when I can't see it. There we go, we're getting somewhere now. Now, once it's in there, you got to kind of take, I, what I do is you can take a toothpick or this right here and just put it inside, push it and roll it around to make sure that it's seated in the groove well. And that's it, that's in. Now, a lot of people are using the quad O-rings. The trick with this is they have to go on flat. So what I do is the same way with the round O-ring. If you look at the difference between a quad and a regular, this is like a double seal, this is a single seal. Take the O-ring, put it on there, get it flat. And then what I do is I take, get it on there, and if you continue turning this, did you see it corrected itself for just there? Yep. It kind of straightened itself out. So you just want to make sure you go around there, and then once it's all straight, all the way around, just make sure it's on there. And that's the quad seal. You can see actually there's like two little ribbons in there. Right. And that's it. That's how you change the O-rings.